Hello, this is Janice from GrowYourResidualIncome.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add a video to your WordPress blog or page. Now I'm going to go over to my WordPress back office and the posts here and this is a post that I've already created and what I want to do is to add a video in between my lines of text here. So first of all, I'm just going to create a space where I can add that video. Now I like to add quite a decent bit of space so that I know exactly where I'm going to put that video. In fact, I tend to put a couple of crosses in here and that just defines it for me and makes it much easier as you will see in a moment. I'm now going to go over to the text portion of the blog post here, click on that and you will see that this is the space I've created to add that video code. Now this little line of code here just shows that it's a line break so I'm going to delete that because we won't be needing that. Now I'm going to head over to YouTube and I'm going to grab the code for a video that I've already made and what I do is I click on the share button here and then just along here I click on the embed code and that opens up this window with the code highlighted already. If it isn't highlighted, just highlight the code, then right click and copy, head back over to your WordPress post and in between the crosses that we've left this space here for the code, right click and paste it in. Great, so now we've got the code there. Let's just delete this space and these crosses here, which we don't need. And now we go back to the visual portion of your post and you will see that this yellow box here shows that the video we have successfully put onto that post. Now don't worry that it is just showing it as a yellow box because once you have published or updated your page you will see the video. So now I'm going to click on update. You may have a publish button there if you haven't published it already. Now I'm going to come over to my post and this is what the post looked like before I'd actually inserted the video. So when I refresh the page you'll see here is my video. And that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post them below.